see that one. It's a little channel cap. I haven't seen it. Ah, this is pulling a little bit now. I may save these and give them to them guys fishing on the bank up there. Since I eased up there and disturbed them by accident earlier, I didn't realize they were there. about 10 pounds. Let's give this one to somebody and make their day. Hey, about 8 pounds. Good eating size. Oh, we got another fish on it. Let me get this one up. Eight alt circle hook. He didn't have a problem eating it. Alright. For a little bit. Decent little blue. Okay, so today. I'm up here fishing in a pretty isolated stretch of the river. I had to go through several spots a foot, foot and a half depth. And that's pretty, that's, that's pretty shallow for a boat this size. But the way I approach something like this, it's narrow. It's only about six foot deep. I could have started down there and worked my way up the river. The only problem with that is I'm constantly disturbing the water that I'm wanting to fish. So just to FYI, the way I do it, I ain't saying it's right, but the way I do it, if I'm fishing water like this, this 300 yard stretch of water here is what I want to fish, maybe 400 yards. So what I done, I went ahead and eased up through here as slow as I could, got all the way to the very top side of where I'm wanting to fish. Dropped my anchor, so I'm gonna start fishing here. Yes, I just disturbed this water, but what happened is after a little while, that water down there is gonna calm down. So. I'll just start back bumping my way back down this section. So in about 15 more minutes, I done put three fish in the boat here in about the first five minutes. I'll give it about 15 more minutes. I'll pull the front anchor, pull the back anchor, and just back up about what I can cast. I'll back up about 80 to 100 yards, lower the anchor back in the water, and start fishing. That way, I'm fishing undisturbed water all the way down. Don't really matter, but to me, I think it helps sometimes. He made a mess. What well, happens when you pay attention? If we're trying to rig a camera, not paying attention, and fish rolls up and all your stuff. Another good one. Cutting free. I got fish on this one. Great. Well, guess all that pulling and twisting caused that to hit. Come on, baby. Give me just a second. Hold the horses. There he goes.
funny. I guess he's seen that line jumping and bouncing inside. Heck, I'll eat that. Feels like a decent fish, too. Else alone. There we go. That's another cookie cutter. Lots of cookies. Another decent fish. Alright, here's another tip when you're fishing in current. I like to use a lot of live baits. If I'm in still still water with no current, I'll hook my live baits closer to the rear quarter. A lot of times I'll cut the tail off and hook them right through the nub, and that way you ain't got to worry about too much tangling your lines up. When I'm fishing in current, I'll go through the nose. That way they swim more natural, and they're a lot less likely to start spinning and twisting and messing up your line. And the fish, when it comes to take it, he'll take it, he'll take it all. Hope this helps somebody. I'm swimming it down the bank here. Actually, he's passing the boat there. Fish. Bigger than 10 pounds. Well, world tour. He may not be a big, he just spirited. He's got a lot of spirit. Like a decent fish here too. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording.
one. Did you cut off? No, nope, you're still filming. I just heard it beeping. Figured it done cut off on me. All right, where's the other boat? Oh, we'll just have to. This one bit my float in two. I don't know if you can see that. He hit it so hard he bit the float in two. It's amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. in there. He didn't swallow it, but he's hung on top of his mouth. Whoop, 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 whoop. Not a bad double.